Hello everyone. One of the most common questions I receive is around where to start learning Power Apps. In this video, I will share Microsoft Power Apps learning resources. From Microsoft documentation, which includes all the information you need to learn and upskill about Power Apps, to training content, which includes hands on labs that have step by step guidance on creating apps, connecting to data sources, and more. Signing up for the Microsoft Developer Plan so you get a free environment in which you can start creating and learning about Power Apps to playlists of videos which include the most commonly used controls and features of Power Apps that every app maker must know about. So let's check it out in action. Here is a list of Microsoft Power Apps learning resources that will help you get started with Power Apps. Power Apps documentation. This is a one stop shop for documentation that covers every aspect of Power Apps. From what is in Power Apps to what's new in Power Apps to learning videos to training content. If you head over to the overview for Power Apps, on the left hand navigation, we can get to every aspect of what has been documented for Power Apps. From getting started to creating apps, how to create your first app, how to build an app from scratch, a lot of good how to guides on how to connect an app to a specific data source or leverage some of the key features of Power Apps. There is a lot to learn from the documentation. Let's take an example. Working with the PDF function in Power Apps. The documentation has a lot of good information about what is required to use this function, prerequisites, how to enable the specific feature in Power Apps, and how to make it work with the different controls. The documentation will also highlight some good tips, notes, and limitations of the specific function or feature that you are reading about. There is also a search experience. So let's say I'm looking into building responsive power apps. I can click on building responsive apps and it will lead me over to the documentation, which will explain what responsive design is. What do I need to do to enable responsive design and a lot more about it. The power apps developer plan gives you the ability to create a free dev environment, which allows you to build and test apps, flows, bots, and a lot more. The documentation will walk us through the process of how to sign up for this developer plan. Who can sign up for this plan? Where can you sign up for this plan? Which features are included in this specific plan? The different limits for that environment and a lot more. App in a day. This is a beginner level lab for you to get hands-on experience with the different power platform technologies like Power Apps, Power Automate, and Dataverse. This link will download the hands-on lab content. The downloaded zip file contains multiple PDF documents, which are the hands-on lab experiences, which will walk you through the entire process step by step. From learning about the Canvas App Studio experience, learning about the different formulas, controls, connecting to data sources, and a lot more. We also have training modules in Microsoft Learn. One of them is for creating your first Canvas app. This module has learning materials covering basics of different building blocks of Power Apps. On similar lines, there is a Microsoft Learn module for creating model-driven applications. We can see that there are plenty of modules available here to learn about different aspects of building Power Apps. Dataverse for Teams allows us to create apps, flows, and bots within a Microsoft team environment context where Microsoft Dataverse is provided for us in a limited capacity. Here is a link to Dataverse for Teams based hands on learning content where you will learn how to create a relational database, create apps, connect them to flows build chatbots, and a lot more. 
this link will download a zip file and within this we have all the lab modules provided for us the training content includes hands-on labs which provides step-by-step -step guidance on how to create apps in dataverse for teams on dataverse for teams i had done some live training on youtube here is a blog post related to that training, which includes the links to those videos, the links to the lab modules, step-by-step -step guidance on how to build help desk system by leveraging Dataverse for Teams. Power Apps Learning Resources contains a set of links curated to help beginners, intermediate and advanced users. I am new, help me get started with the Power Platform. Here are links to blogs, videos, training content, and a lot more. For folks who have some experience with the platform, here are some good reference links to take your skill set to the next level. For folks interested in administration and governance, pro devs, fusion teams, real world customer stories, and a lot more. Power Apps Formula Reference The documentation covers A to Z for all of the different Power FX formulas that are available in Power Apps. You should ideally bookmark this page. The formulas are categorized from A through Z. Let's say I would like to know about the width function. So I will select on that function. It will describe what that function does, explain the syntax of the function, give us some examples that we can literally copy and paste in Power Apps and learn from. I've done plenty of videos on Power Apps formulas. All of those I have added to a playlist. The Power Apps Gallery Control, which allows us to show multiple records from a data source. Once again, the documentation will provide all the details around what that control can do, includes details about limitations, the key properties of the gallery control, and all of the additional properties that are a part of that control. All of my gallery control videos, I have included it in a playlist. This includes videos for styling galleries, creating paginated galleries, adding multiple filters to Power Apps galleries, and a lot more. When working with Power Apps, the most common scenario is performing CRUD operations against your data source. The two most popular ways to achieve that are the form control and the patch function. I have a playlist related to the form control, how to connect the form control with the data source, how to create sections in form controls, work with form modes, data cards, customize SharePoint forms, create tabbed form experiences, validate data in forms, and a lot more. I have a playlist related to the patch function as well, which covers how to patch data in SharePoint, Dataverse, how to perform bulk operations while patching, how to create editable grid experiences, which leverages the patch function to write data back to the data source. Responsive design refers to the ability of an app to automatically align itself to the different screen sizes and form factors. I've done several videos on creating responsive Power Apps. These are step-by-step -step tutorial videos. Power Apps components are reusable building blocks for Canvas apps so that app makers can create custom controls to use inside an app or across multiple apps by leveraging component libraries. The blog post itself has a video that will walk you through how to use components in Canvas apps step-by-step -step guidance on how to add components, how to use custom properties within a component, and more. When components was first announced, 10 reusable components were provided for us. You can download all those components and start using them in your applications. The Creator Kit contains a set of awesome components that you can straight out leverage and plug in in your Power Apps. For components, there is hands-on lab content as well, which provides step-by-step -step guidance on how to create a carousal component. My playlist on components covers a left navigation component, SharePoint list attachments viewer component, 
a map component and more. Power Apps delegation is one of the key concepts that every app maker must be aware of. The queries against your data source are delegated to the backend data source so that Power Apps does not have to do the work. The documentation link for Power Apps delegation is again something I will highly recommend every maker to bookmark. It's very important to understand which data sources are delegable. The table explains the different formulas and the different data types for a specific data source, in this case, Dataverse, and explains whether they support delegation or not. The videos will explain what delegation is. When working with SharePoint, how to avoid delegation when querying against a date column or a choice column, lookup column. There are also videos that explain workarounds to avoid delegation scenarios. It's always best to keep up to date with the latest certifications and it's a good way to test your skills around the Power Platform. Link takes us to all the certifications that are available for Power Apps. If you decide to take a specific certification, if you select it, it will explain all the details about the different skill sets that you would be tested upon. There are also references to study guides that are provided and most of them lead you over to the training content that is provided on Microsoft Learn. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you so much for watching.